Things are uncertain at Summer Bay Surf Life Saving Club, as both Mackenzie and Molly have big decisions to make about their futures. Next week, Mac is thoughtful as she returns to the bay from the city, having met with her solicitor to update the paperwork accordingly. She tells Molly that the solicitor pointed out her various other options, including buying cash out, or selling and splitting the profits. Molly has a dilemma of his own however. Recent weeks have seen the board shop owner enter one of his artworks into a competition, after being badgered into doing so by Kirby. On learning he had made the list of finalists, Molly got a little carried away with himself as Kirby egged him on, and was disappointed to later discover he had not emerged victorious. There was an unexpected development however when one of the judges, an art gallery owner no less, later contacted Molly with an offer to represent him. Molly was reluctant at first, not believing he was an artist, but eventually agreed to set up a meeting with Kirby's encouragement. When Molly meets up with Robert and Salt, Robert explains that he would need about 15 paintings in order to start up a solo exhibition. This would obviously mean a big commitment from Molly, as Robert points out that he would have to give up the board shop in order to work on his art full time. That said, he would be talking a six-figure pay packet whilst working as an artist, Robert gives Molly time to think things over, and when he later discusses things with Mac, they're both stressing out over their respective businesses. Mac doesn't believe Cash would be interested in selling his share of salt, while Molly is unsure whether he'd be able to churn out painting after painting for the sake of profit. At the surf club, John asks Mac if her solicitor has received his updated paperwork, and how things are going in general. Mac points out that things are a little up in the air as far as salt is concerned, leading John to immediately panic about the club losing the rental income. Alf tells Mac to do whatever she needs to do whilst simultaneously telling John to pull his head in, the last thing Mac needs is him badgering her. When Molly suddenly pipes up that he'd also like to have a conversation with Alf, about his shop, John despairs. In the office, Molly tells Alf about the offer, and whilst Alf points out that if something seems too good to be true, it often is, Molly explains he's already done his research. The guy is legit, which in some way disappoints Molly. If he was known to be dodgy then it would have made his decision a lot easier. Meanwhile, Mac visits Cash in order to discuss their options, but is put out when Cash is clearly distracted. Cash has decided, against John and Tane's advice, to try and track down the girl who received Flick's heart and lungs. In his search he has found an online forum, where he has left a message in hope that it will be picked up by the same girl who sent him a letter via the organ donation organization. Cash constantly refreshes the page for messages, Mac's words seem to be going in one ear and out of the other. Eventually Cash just tells Mac that she can do what she wants with salt, as he doesn't really care. Mac is stunned, and lets herself out. When Molly and Mac finally reconvene in salt, they both now have the potentially life-changing answers they've been searching for. But what exactly have they decided?